Hi everyone, I'm Carly Hayden at Snowflake, here with Gary today at T-Mobile. Hey everybody. Uh, Gary has been playing a pivotal role in bringing innovation uh, to the business value of the data cloud here at T-Mobile. We're gonna talk a little bit about how he's done that and his journey there today, and then also briefly touch on Gary's session that he's going to be doing later this afternoon at the sure, summit. absolutely. Hey, uh, nice to meet you. Um, so, if uh, my name is Giri Shivratri, I'm a principal architect at T-Mobile. Um, so, T-Mobile is a unique company in my, my experience because the speed at which the, the company grew was phenomenal, right? Which means that we have a lot of projects which need to go on at the same time uh, because business need visibility to that data, right? So that's a lot of work to do, right? So uh, if we follow the traditional methodologies, it really doesn't scale for us anymore, right? So uh, there's, we have, you must have seen in the news, there is a huge merger which went through, uh, and if you look at the numbers of the company, how they grew, it's just phenomenal, right? So that means a lot of work for us. So if we right. don't innovate and if we don't make things faster for us, then it's just gonna slow down everything. So, so what we did is we have, you know, in, 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 you know, I'm going to go a little more into how the projects and uh, how the data, how we get the data and get it to the business, right? Excellent. So it's, there is a transaction which happens in the store. That transaction flows into the data warehouse. The data warehouse generates a report that goes into the business, right? So they know what's going on in the, in the business through that. To get that process done, that's a full pipeline, right? So uh, we looked at all the tools available and all the platforms available. Uh, we used to be a traditional uh, on-prem system pla uh, system shop, and we noticed that the scale at which we want to grow our system, the compute was always a bottleneck, the re the storage was always a bottleneck, and we evaluated Snowflake, which the, all the pain points we had in the past with all the platforms we have, it's all gone now, right? So that is what I think the com dis disconnecting the compute and the storage, and the data sharing is really phenomenal. That's that's just the biggest feature for us. So from there, uh, then all the platform is solved. Now what do we do about the processes, right? So um, there are, so the, our DevOps, we have quite a few DevOps teams and they're very passionate about building these data pipelines, right? Uh, so they, they build the ingestion frameworks. Ingestion framework can be, is, is automated now, then now the more, more complex part is the data transformation within, the day, within Snowflake. Mm -hmm. How do we do that, right? So there's, that's where all these ETL tools come into picture. The problem there was, the way we look at it, is that, okay, there's a retail tool, but if you have to go in and fix, I mean, draw, I mean, uh, design everything, it's gonna take me more time, right? So we wanted to see, you know, how we can remove these, this manual work in the picture, right? So we built a process, uh, uh, and we call it CodeBot, right? So we built a process, and then uh, that process, the moment somebody designs, our design is completed, we input all the design into it, and then click a button. It auto-generates all the ETL code for us, including ingestion, transformation rules. So there is no time spent by our development team at the transformation layer too. So that's how we can, and the in any, any, any data, data related project, it takes about 40% to 60% of any project timeline, budget and resources oh, wow. to get this work done. So we could get it to uh, reduce it by 90%, which is a great win for us, right? So that's, that. What that means is faster data input into the warehouse and analytical systems and faster reports out of it, right? So right. That, that's what we did. Awesome. Um, you mentioned a couple features there when you were talking about Code Park. Yeah. Um, data sharing. Talk a little bit more about how you're leveraging the different features of the data cloud. So we were able to uh, uh, enable, the, enable access to data across organizations, even beyond our organization too. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, third party data which we need to get in. We, we, we just need to give them, give them access and we are, the data is shared right there. We also build our, uh, our uh, lower environments, the development test environments, through the data share too. So it's been a, in the past, if you think about any traditional system, the dev and test systems never have full data. They just can't right. have full data. Now only with Snowflake, we are able to get that there, right? So that means we can tune our jobs better, we can performance tune on them on full data set, which was not possible before. Yeah. Right. Awesome. You talked a lot about saving time. Yeah speed and performance, and then chiefly, you, you mentioned scale. Yeah. When you're thinking about what's next for T-Mobile and how you'll leverage the data cloud in your next chapter, right. uh, what does that look like? So I th I th we believe that uh, any process, so traditionally if you talk about any data process, data-related project or any in initiative, they're all been very, um, 
very manual, right, mm -hmm. manually done. We believe at T-Mobile that um, the future of data processing should always all, all be 100% automated, right? So we are even going towards a state where we are automating the design also. So starting from the design, development, testing, all of it is fully automated for us. And also analytics, will, we are looking at analytics of how to, what, what we can do there to make sure that we don't spend much time, right? So we believe in writing code which write codes for us. We don't believe in writing individual processes to do a single task, right? Right. Yeah. So I, I believe um, it's, it's our philosophy that we have to put more information, more human knowledge about data in a da machine readable format. Only when we do that, we can write intelligent processes around it to draw information from there and then you know, build out anything else we want to do in an automated fashion. I think that's the key, that's the future of data processing. Yeah. So ultimately it comes down, you built the foundation and yeah. then that will allow you to pursue whatever exactly. is the next initiative. And so you are speaking today yeah. at Summit. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you'll be covering and why everyone should come by your session. Yeah, so um, I'll be talking about the zero code environment, how T-Mobile could achieve a zero code environment with a very complex ecosystem uh, which in turn saves time. It's, I think our innovation there is, uh, is actually industry leading right now because we have proven, proven that we don't really need any of the tools available there. Uh, everything needed for ETL can be auto-generated uh, right from the design itself, right? So that's how we were able to so save time and that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And in terms of what you've seen from other presenters at the summit this week, what has been most exciting about the features that have been announced at Snowflake? Well, it's it's actually amazing, you know. It's so much of innovation. Everybody's trying to add whatever value they can, and I think this will. I think this is the start of the whole journey. All of these are going to improve and mature and come to a point where, you know, there is uh, processes or the you know the data movement and all of that stuff. Managing everything is going to get to an autonomous state. That's how I, I look at it, right? So I think this is the start of all of that journey. Yeah. So it's it's really been exciting meeting everybody. Do you have a favorite feature of the that start of that journey and that excitement? Security. Security. Yes. yes. That because that's been a, a very big topic and very important topic for us, and it's always very tricky to get that done really right. The masking features have, in, have, have been uh, enhanced, I believe. So more security companies are around now, so we can get that done much quicker than le traditionally. We encrypted the, you know, encrypted a lot of data, which takes a lot of resources and time. So we want, we shouldn't be doing that going forward. Hopefully, there'll be some solutions coming up, which can eliminate that need, right? So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. And in terms of your visit to Vegas overall, what's been your highlight? Summit. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's exactly what we like to hear. <laughs> um, Kiri, I know uh, we mentioned that you will be speaking later today. Can you tell our audience where they can come see your conference? Yeah. Your it's at the, I will be speaking at the Everest uh, Theater here. Um, so yeah, that, that's where you should look up in the in the map and come there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It was great speaking with you today. And we look forward to, to seeing your session later. Sure. Thank you so much.